The state television campaign of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. A session of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of Western Armenia. Europe takes forward the Alma Eta Declaration. Grammar of Habshan Armenians on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. This night talked on the Armenian culture by a small episode of the cartoon for the first time. Support the state television of Western Armenia. On March 2, the fourth session of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. The session was chaired by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, with the presence of Armenia Gabriahamian and members of the government. During the session, the general condition was discussed on the government of Western Armenia. Armenia Gabriahamian, the first president of Western Armenia, referred to the legal processes on the regarding of the material and physical damages caused to the forcibly displaced families from Artsakh. Armenia Gabriahamian informed that he will continue the recruitment of applications and necessary documents of Artsakh citizens. On February 2, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia gave a speech on the live broadcast of Western Armenia. In her speech, she referred to the subject of the week in the Republic of Western Armenia. The Speaker mentioned in her speech on February 28, the regular session of the third convocation of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, held on the online platform, during which the first President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Agabrahamian, delivered the opening speech of the session presenting issues on the agenda. Ms. Nelly Harutinian, the chairperson of the National Assembly, also addressed the questions on the agenda. The issue of writing a letter of thanks was also discussed to send to the French president, to the government, to the parliament and senate for the reburial of Ms. Agmanushan. The speaker of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia referred also the visit of the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia to Yerablu military penitent to pay tribute on the occasion of the 159th anniversary of the birth of General Andranik Ozanyan. She also highlighted the fact that the flag of Western Armenia was awarded with gold medal of Vahagan by the Military Patriotic Charitable Public Organization on Andranik Ozanyan's birthday. Also, the government of the Western Armenia received the certificate of honor from the Military Patriotic Non-Governmental Organization, Arsif 40 Ararat. The speaker continued her speech with um, information about the publication of the next issue of Western Armenia magazine. She also talked on the alarm raised by the State Council for the Protection of Cultural Heritage in Artsakh, which stated about the dismantling of Shah Lanznavur's monuments by the Azerbaijan. The speaker of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia concluded her speech with information about the publication of stamps in France dedicated to Shah Lanznavur and Misak Manushan. Europe takes forward the Alma Eta Declaration. The operations on the peace treaty between Yerevan and Baku can be completed in this year. This was announced by the Toivo Galar, the U.S. Special Representative for the Crisis Affairs in the South Caucasus and the Georgia at the Diplomatic Forum held in Antalya, noted that the European Union is involved in the process of establishing stability and security in the South Caucasus. Heads of state must take responsibilities and sign the agreement. Having worked on this process for many years, I am sure that it may be signed this year. In order to establish long-term peace, it is necessary to reach an agreement that will be perceived righteous by all parties. Europe's history of the last hundred years shows that the delicacy of peace imposed by the victor, as well as the significant advantages of reconciliation and overcoming hostilities, said the European diplomat. According to him, in the context of Yerevan and Baku, it is necessary to rely on the already concluded agreements, including the demarcation of borders based on the lines of demarcation between the SSRs of Armenia and Azerbaijan at the time of signing the Alma Eta Declaration in 1991. The agreement should include the opening of the border for the movement of people and goods, including for southern Yerevan from the main part of Baku, Nakhichevan. Klar noted as well that the European Union gives great importance to the role of Turkey, which has a unique opportunity to contribute to peace by opening the borders and restoring transport links with Armenia. In his opinion, the peaceful settlement will benefit not only the directly involved countries, but also the EU countries, ensuring the reliability of transport corridor between Europe, Central Asia and China. In this case, the EU will also be able to withdraw the civilian observation mission from Armenia, which was 
deployed to demonstrate the EU's inv involvement the region, emphasized Clark. The European Union continues to actively promote the Russian agenda and Soviet treaties, including Stalin's decision on Artsakh. The reasons are simple. Only on the basis of the Alma Ata declaration, the EU can talk about the integrity of Ukraine, including Crimea, extending this approach to all post-Soviet conflicts and ignoring its own principles and document, the European Union is creating the basis for the fragmentation and eventual destruction of Armenia, except that al Maeta's artificial declaration does not take into account that genocide took place in Western Armenia between 1894 and 1923 and does not take into account the territorial integrity of the entire Republic of Armenia without taking into account the agreements and recognitions that preceded it which is a legal nonsense. Grammar of Hamshen Armenian. Hamshen Tsak, Hamshen Tsak language Gitatum, with this title, the last book of has been published from the Islam Publishing House of Angara by Huriya Shahin, Hamshen Armenian dialect researcher. Shahin hopes that with this publication he will put an end to the fabricated theories about the ethnographic features of the Hamshen people. A special presentation was held on February 24 for the study of Huriye Shahin's Hamshen grammar. On that day, Shahin also inscribed his previous books for the readers. The author is now preparing for the presentation to be held on March 17 in Istanbul at the initiative of Hatik Union. Western Armenia TV presents you the last third article about the events in 1955, September 6, September 7. Turkish court initially charged 4,480 people with the events of September 6, September 7, but during time the charges were dropped from some of them, and in 1955, 3,943 people were released. In 1955, in January, 61 people were acquitted, only 228 people were convicted and with the fairly mild sanctions. The Turkish judicial system also referred to the events later in 1955 of September 6, September 7. In 1960, on October 14, on the island of Yesiada in the Sea of Marmara at the trial of 592 different officials removed from their power as a result of the May 27 military cops, including the former president of Turkey, Jalal Bayar, Prime Minister Adnan Menders, ministers and deputies. Among the charges presented were also the massacres against Greeks and Armenians in Istanbul, Izmir and other places in 1955 on September 6 and 7. All this shows that even the Turkish law enforcement ag agencies were not able to completely cover up the massacres organized by the Turkish authorities in the middle of the 20th century. We should also add that the events of September 6 and 7 caused scandalous revelations in the Turkish political field, and both the opposition People's Party and the ruling Democratic Party made statements and speeches criticizing and exposing each other. However, the most scandalous revelation related to September 6-7 came later based on the various facts and evidence. It was revealed that the bombing of Atatürk's house in Tenalongi was actually organized by the Turkish Special Service through their agent. In fact, both the Thessaloniki operation, the holding of Protests relies in Istanbul and other cities, and the attacks of armed terrorist groups on the houses and shops of Greeks and Armenians were part of a single plan, the organizer of which was the Turkish government with its representative structures. In 1955, interesting and often scandalous revelations continued to emerge about the events of September 6-7, data that shed additional light on what happened and more clearly present the criminal behavior of the Turkish authorities. Disney talked on the Armenian culture by a small episode of the cartoon for the first time. In a short episode of the cartoon Mickey Mouse Fan House that was shown on the Disney channel, the famous Minnie Mouse and his friends celebrate the Vartavar. A message about this was publishing on the official Instagram page of Armenia Film Society. The message mentions that the author of the script of the film is Kathleen Sarneli Kapuchan, whose husband is Armenian. In that episode, Minnie Mouse wears wrong outfit to celebrate Vartavar Armenian traditional ceremony. Minnie, Mickey and their friends are greeted by the goddess Asrik, who is wearing a traditional Armenian costume. The goddess descends from her magical 
temple and sprinkles water on them. The description reads, these events take place in a land of myths and legends modeled after Armenian architecture, especially the Garni temples and the Cascade monument, creating a fusion of the two places. The character of Astrik voiced Diana Badeyev. Her mother is Armenian and her father is Lebanese. The episode is full of Armenian cultural elements. Minnie wears an Armenian costume, speaks Armenian, and popular heroes Chip and Dale sell buttermilk and cook barbecue. That episode of the cartoon is the first one which Disney talks on Armenian culture for the first time. The state television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia, the present and the future, with political and other context, as well as news that raises various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.